Hi students, I am Dr. Badrina Tanda. Today our topic is sympathetic system versus parasympathetic system. Very important for basics for all pharmacology students, okay, including MBBS also, right? See, when you see a tiger, your body will be in the sympathetic system. All your reactions, like, like your reaction, when you see the tiger, your reaction will be like this. So, pupil will be dilated. In sympathetic system, your pupil will be dilated. Respiration will be increased. Respiratory system is increased. See, just imagine. So, whenever you see the lion or whenever you see the snake, okay, automatically your body will be shifted to the sympathetic system. That is very simple to understand and very simple to keep in the mind. Sympathetic system, okay? See, now, see, when you see the tiger, you will start running. You will start running, running, running. You are running away, running away, running away, running away. See, so what happened to your body? First one is dilates the people because your reaction is like that. Because your people will be dilated. And see, inhibits the salivation. See, saliva, when the saliva will be secreted generally? You tell me. See, whenever you are taking a sweet laddu, your saliva will be secreted. In, in order to digest the uh, laddu, your laddu. So, tylen will be there in the enzyme, various enzyme. All GAT, gastrointestinal secretions will be secreted when you are taking a laddu. When you see, this is, this is, this is a time to take laddu. See, when you see the tiger, you have to run away. So, there is no time to take laddu. So, your inhibits the saliva. Not only saliva, all entire GAT secretions right from the mouth to up to the anus. All secretions, HCLU, NaOHR, whatever it may be, alkali or acid, everything will be suppressed. Suppressed. See, that's why inhibits the salivation and dilates the branchi. Dilates. Because you have to take more oxygen to run away. More oxygen. You need more glucose also. I will tell you why this. Dilates the branchi because you need the more air. Dilates is nothing but a relaxes. Don't get confusion, students. Dilates the branchi is nothing but relaxation of the branchi. That's why it is allowing you to take a more and more air. Okay. Accelerates the heartbeat. Heartbeat, heart pumping, blood pumping should be fast. Then only you can run, run the fast. Otherwise, it is not possible to run the heart because pumping, pumping like that, it is pumping because whenever, automatically, whenever you are doing exercise, your heartbeat is increasing. Here you are running. So, automatically what happened? Heartbeat will be increased. Same. See, very simple to understand. Okay. See here, inhibits the peristaltic movement. All GAT movements, not only GAT movement, all GAT secretions like HCL, saliva, acid, alkali, whatever it may be, all inhibits. All. So, even peristaltic movement, you, you cannot get a motion also. You cannot get motion because peristaltic movement of the GAT will lead to motion. In, in this situation, it is not at all positive. Okay. Next, stimulates the glucose production, not only glucose production, also glucose release into the blood because you require the more and more energy. That energy you will be get it from the glucose only. Okay, so more glucose production will be there in the liver and more release of the glucose into the blood will be there. Okay, next, secretion of adrenaline and noradrenaline. These are the two on the, what are these two? Adrenaline, noradrenaline. Neurotransmitters, which are present in the sympathetic system. Okay, I will tell you. Okay, next, inhibits the bladder contraction. Bladder will not be contracted. Bladder, when it is contracted, means urine will be passed out. But here there is no time to pass the urine. Just it will be. So, bladder will not be contracted. Okay. It, it, this is not a time to go urine. Okay. Right. Like that you can remember easily. Okay. Stimulate the orgasm. So, like that, sympathetic system is when you are running away by seeing a tiger. That's it. So, you know that uh, I will. I am providing a free YouTube, 100% free YouTube online classes for all pharmacy students like B pharmacy, M pharmacy, PharmD. Okay. And I have started the mobile app also. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. It is also 99% free. Only nominal cost is there. M-Pharmacy full course, 100 rupees. And B-Pharmacy full course, 250 rupees per year. Pharma D, 250 rupees per year. All courses, first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year. All together. All together. Okay. 
uh, all subjects will be in there. So we go to the store option. So download from the Google Play Store, click on the store option. After opening the app, click on the store. In that store, you will get all courses like a PharmD, BPharm, MPharm and all. Okay, and you can purchase whatever you want. Nominal cost only. Okay, right. See, all these four topics we will uh, uh, see. Parasympatha, memetics, parasympatho, lytics, sympatho, memetics, sympatho, lytics. We will understand in this uh, video. What is this? All this. Very easy. Very, 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 very easy. I am helping uh, with the help of some tricks. Uh, I am helping you how to remember very easily. Parasympathetic system. This is parasympathetic system. Okay. What you saw, it is sympathetic system. This is parasympathetic. Pleasant state. P stands for pleasant. Parasympathetic P. Pleasant state. When you are in a, when you are doing a meditation, your body in a parasympathetic system. That is a good system. Parasympathetic is good. See, it constrict the people. Opposite of the sympathetic system. Your pupils will not be dilated. Pupils will be constricted. Stimulates the saliva flow. Constrict the bronchi. You will take not uh, whenever you are running, you are taking a more breath. Here, not like that. Opposite. Slows the heartbeat. Stimulates the peristaltic movement. All gastric intestinal secretions will be flowed out. You will get free motion. Okay. Peristaltic movement. Stimulates the bile release. For digestion, no? Digestion. Bile is very, very important for the digestion of the cholesterol. So, all GIT secretions will be released for proper digestion. Okay? Like that. Contracts the bladder. You can go to the urine freely. Otherwise, whenever you are running, it is not possible. Like that. So, very easy to remember. Sympathetic system, parasympathetic system. <coughs> this is sympathetic system. Parasympathetic system. All you have to write in the examination compulsory. All these points you have to mention. Very clearly, you have to be mentioned. Parasympathetic means pleasant state. Okay? Yeah. See, if you see the structure, how the neurons are coming over in the sympathetic system? Parasympathetic system. See, we know that, see here, almost all the neurons are coming from here. Whereas, uh, this place is left here. Empty. This place is empty here. Cranial sacrum. Both are present. So, parasympathetic system, cranium, up and down system, you can say. Parasympathetic system is nothing but up and down. This is up. This is a down. Okay? Right. This is a sympathetic system in center system. Center, it is present in there. So, how to, I will tell you how to. This is a brain. Parasympathetic system, up, down. Only two. Up and down. Constrict to the people, increases the saliva production, reduces the heartbeat, constrict to the bronchi. All are very easy to remember. All these things you have to write in the examination. That's why this is also called as a cranial. See here, craniosacral. This is a cranium, brain. Cranial. See here, cranial. This is cranium. So your brain will be excellent in the meditation. That's why craniosacral. Like that you can remember. Craniosacral. Okay, right. And sympathetic system. Here, this is a sympathetic system. This is also center. Like it dilates the people, inhibits the saliva production, dilates the bronchi, rises the heartbeat. All are all like that. You have to write all these things here. Okay, right. See, parasympathetic system, PSS, sympathetic system, SS. Trick P means pleasant. Super. Personality is super. P stands for personality. P stands for pleasant. Like that you can remember. Okay. Parasympatho mimetic. What is the meaning of mimetic? Those drugs. All those drugs which increases the parasympathetic actions are called as a parasympatho mimetics. Sympatho mimetics means increases the sympathetic system. Those drugs which increases the sympathetic reactions are called as a sympathetic system. Next this parasympathetic system, that is sympatholytics. See here, parasympathetic system. Sympatholytics. Lytics means break. So, sympatholytic, name itself in case. Sympathetic system, when there was a breakdown, automatically body will be shifted to the parasympathetic system. That's why most of the students are confusing. Sympatholytics means parasympathetic system. Parasympatholytics means sympathetic system. Okay, this is called rest and digest. 
here you are taking rest you are not running here rest digest rest and digest so you are because all gat secretions will be freely secreted your digestion will be excellent doctors will be wonder to your digestive system how your digestive system are working like that they will ask you because uh, you tell uh, sir i am doing meditation i am very cool person that's why my digestive system is good you need not to be consult any gastrointestinal uh, tract uh, expert okay gastroenterologist need not to be uh, meet because you are very excellent personality pleasant personality you are here fight or flight either you are fighting with the lion nowadays nobody will fight i know flight so fight or flight here rest and digest see here and the cranio sacral outflow brain will works good like that you can remember brain will works good cranio sacral pleasant system here thoraco lumbar i have shown here what is thoraco this is thoracic this is lumbar thoraco lumbar this is cranio sacral like that you can remember okay and this is called as a acetylcholine acetylcholine system a a excellent a a both a means stands for a super a a this is acetylcholine noradrenaline system why we are calling it as a acetylcholine noradrenaline system that we will explain see always there was a balance in the body sympathetic system parasympathetic system if sympathetic is dominating parasympathetic is almost zero when parasympathetic is activating okay dominating see your sympathetic system is zero see here it is a fight or flight see he saw a snake he is running away running 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 away. here he is sleeping rest and digest okay this is a leg that there was a balance will be there that will be taken by our body okay right ah uh, this uh, sympathetic system comes under autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system divided into sympathetic system parasympathetic system parasympathetic cranial outflow sacral outflow okay atanam ans what is in this parasympathetic system see here only one junction is there that junction is very important that junction is called as a ganglia this is called as a ganglia here also this is called as a ganglia junction junction here one neuron is there here one neuron is there junction is there here also one neuron is there another neuron is there junction is there that point you have to keep in your mind junction what is this junction we will see pre this is called as a pre this junction is called as a ganglia ganglia okay this is called as a pre ganglionic nerve this is called as a post ganglionic nerve after the ganglia that's why this is called a post ganglionic okay just like a prepaid before talking post paid after talk like that you can remember prepaid post paid like a pre ganglionic nerve length is high here see here very long very long very and this is very short see p pre ganglionic nerve fiber is long and it uses the acetylcholine that's why this is called aa system here also acetylcholine post ganglionic nerve fiber is short whereas here opposite opposite here pre ganglionic nerve fiber is short see when you compare these two this is short this is long see see the difference okay short and it uses the acetylcholine acetylcholine is common ganglia means acetylcholine whereas here at the end at the end of a organ organ post ganglionic fiber this is called as a okay post ganglionic fiber and it releases the noradrenaline because i know already acetylcholine noradrenaline system this is acetylcholine acetylcholine system okay now happily by seeing this diagram happily you can say this is a cranio sacral cranio sacral outflow first here you can see ganglia this is a ganglia acetylcholine here also organ end acetylcholine okay now you come to the sacral acetylcholine here also acetylcholine see very long is there very long here also very long pre ganglionic post ganglionic is short here also short okay now you come to the thoracic sympathetic system thoracic okay see very short pre ganglionic nerve acetylcholine here also pre ganglionic acetylcholine only but noradrenaline noradrenaline will be released you see how very interesting subject and why i don't know why the people are confusing okay so all these tricks okay uh, tips easy to remember all the diagrams will be available in my app in my notes okay you can be download it from uh, google play store okay and it can be all my presentation youtube presentations is nothing but a notes 
same things you can be right in the examination you will get a full score diagrams are very very important you practice the diagram okay so this is a uh, my youtube channel as well as the app okay i will end my session here right